Hello, this is Aileen. I am uh, giving you an update on my elimination diet and uh, starting to reintroduce um, some of the foods. Um, if you are new here, an elimination diet is you basically take out the seven most common um, allergens. You don't eat those uh, for like four weeks. Some people do longer. I did it for four weeks and um, the purpose of that is to basically give your body a break, give it a break from all the processed foods and everything that, you know, you've internally abused your body with for, you know, however many years. Um, I started on November 1st. I went until actually uh, Thanksgiving where I did reintroduce eggs. Um, the, I had a hard boiled egg did not have a good reaction to it. I had um, eggs in uh, as an ingredient. I was fine. So it's a hit or miss. You know, at least I know that direct eggs, I've got to like watch it. Um, on December 1st, I did do another uh, kind of a, t a picture uh, to see that my body is changing. Um, the weight is starting to fluctuate because I did reintroduce gluten. Um, I didn't have a gut punch, but I noticed I did have, uh, an increase of weight as well as, uh, blood pressure, a spike. So gluten, I'm going to have to kind of kick that to the curb and, um, not eat. I mean, yeah, I just won't eat it because the weight is one aspect, but the fact that I had a blood pressure spike is, you know, kind of concerning. So, um, since December 1st, um, I did go out of town and let me tell you, it is hard. Um, I have not reintroduced all of the items yet. I'm, I still have a couple more weeks to go. And when you're out of town, it is hard to, um, cook for yourself. So you have to get creative with what you can eat in the area. And of course, around hotels, good luck. It's all fast food. They, it is hard to find any um, allergen free places unless you go into a big city and spend a lot of money at, you know, those particular restaurants. So um, I was bad. I had uh, some, it it was more of a veggie omelet, but it came with toast. And yeah, I could have not eaten it, but toast and, and eggs, and this seems like a, a good combination. So um, yes, I did gain some weight over the weekend. It's not by much. It's like a little bit over a pound, but I will be uh, keeping track. I have a journal or um, a piece of paper, basically. I printed off like a... a um, a table of the allergens and I'll write down the date what the reaction was I weigh myself the next day after I do that and that's how I know um, if there is a fluctuation in weight um, I did also reintroduce dairy yeah I'm a cheese lover and I got that gut punch so yeah I've got to uh, unfortunately give up my lovely cheese. I don't know if um, it's just cheese. I went and I bought a yogurt just to try it out. But if the cheese is, is giving me the gut punch, I have a feeling it's going to be all dairy. Um, I am using a non-dairy milk at the moment called Ripple. And I like it because it tastes just like milk, but not, um, it doesn't have that watery consistency like some of the um, non-dairy milks and I've used it to cook so it is a good all-around uh, uh, milk to use that is non-dairy um, but next up is fish nuts and soy um, those are the four that I still but nuts so I've, I've incorporated three so far so uh, corn was not one of the um, one, one that had, I had issues with. So I have three left. I'm 
debating on how I'm going to reintroduce those um, so I can pinpoint out that ingredient. Um, I'm thinking tofu for the soy, uh, fish, just have some fish, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, nuts, probably make a peanut butter sandwich on gluten-free bread, of course. <laughs> but uh, that is my update. I will see you in about a week or so and let you know how everything goes. And I'll see you. Bye.